Hello everybody and welcome to our interview with Camila. So we are very happy to have you here and thank you for accepting our invitation. So hi Camila, how are you? How do you feel today? First of all, I want to say uh, hello to Azerbaijan and I am so grateful to have this conversation with you. I'm a big fan of Azerbaijan, I'm half Azeri. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I miss this country a lot. I still, uh, I still uh, feel in my heart that this is my motherland. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah. And yeah, we're just gonna go quick to our questions. We have prepared some questions for you. I hope they will be interesting and we'll get some interesting answers. So my first question is, how and why did you decide for the Eurovision and do you usually follow the Eurovision like usually? Um, the, my purpose was to mix between my two um, religions and my two motherlands, my two um, mother languages. Mm -hmm. um, my roots. I left Azerbaijan f 30 years ago, but since then I'm um, talking in my uh, concerts about Azeri music and Azeri roots. Um, and to go to Eurovision was to have a bigger stage and to bigger bigger audience to hear stories about amazing Azerbaijan and mix between Azerbaijan and Israel. Uh, they asked me to sing a song in, in English in uh, Eurovision uh, auditions, but I made this interesting um, version uh, to mix Azeri Old Mugam in uh, English song. So they were very surprised and they asked me too why I'm doing that. <laughs> and I said the same thing, that this is just a bigger stage, a bigger audience to hear about amazing Azeri culture, music, and to mix my roots together. This is who I am. I am half Azeri, half Jewish, and who are we without our roots? Who are we? We are yeah. our roots, our traditions. This is the most important thing of being you, to remember where you came from. That was my purpose to go to your vision. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. Thank you for a great answer. And do you like usually follow Eurovision or it would just happen this year? Oh, no, no, no. This is my first time. I think um, I'm just grown enough for that mm -hmm. because this is, this is not an easy experience. Uh, the judges, which are huge musicians, can tell you very insulting things, you know? They can tell you that you're not good enough and you can accidentally believe that. Mm -hmm. That's a problem. If you're not grown up musician and you are very, very sure of who you are, you can be silent for years after that. And that's what happened to me, you know? One of the judges didn't like my roots. 
<laughs> and he asked me, why are you going and showing off your roots all the time? I am not going and showing my roots when I go out of my house. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he's a huge musician, Aviv Geffen. He's like number one in Israel. Mm -hmm. So I told him, I feel a big pity that you're not showing off your roots. Who are you without your roots? My exactly. grandmother was an Azeri proud woman. And mm -hmm. every time I go out of my house, out of my studio, I will shout who I am because I'm very proud of it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You're like absolutely like correct. And all right, so and we also, as you mentioned, we still see that you sing in Azerbaijan like sometimes and also like in those kinds of like content. So how does it feel to sing Azerbaijan in like different country, like to represent or I don't know to like promote it? Or how to say? Like, so how does it feel in your, like, sing in your native language, like, how was it? I feel, uh, I feel so lucky, you know, because I'm here 30 years. We immigrated from um, Azerbaijan in 91. And it was bloody war. And... I was crying so much and all my family uh, chose to stay in Azerbaijan, in Baku. And uh, I came to Israel only with my mother. Even my father lives in Baku still. And um, for five first years, I was crying and I have so much uh, thoughts about coming back and um, being a mu Azeri musician and this war. Uh, was a very, very hard thing to return to. We had a war in Israel too with Saddam Hussein the same, same time, 91. Mm -hmm. And um, I understood that the only way to be one again is to mix Hebrew language and Azeri language in one album, mm -hmm. in one concert. So I wrote my first album, it calls Mama Land. It's about mm -hmm. Azerbaijan. Uh -huh. I can even show you where it's yeah. Since then, it's like 20 years already that I'm performing with this uh, album, with my band. Uh, we can see here is the first uh, is uh, the first oil uh, fountain from I'm Azerbaijan in. land. It's amazing, and the first page here it's yeah, that's beautiful. Azeri that's oil beautiful. machines, yes, yes, and all the songs are about Baku and. Azerbaijan uh, land and Caspian Sea, but it's half in Hebrew and it's few songs in, Azerba in Azerbaijan language. Mm -hmm. um, like Asmarim and Sari Galin. And every, every show I'm speaking about my memories from our home in uh, Basin Street. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was learning in... Uh, school number 46 mm -hmm. and a music school number six. And my mom is a great, great pianist. So um, the first, this album, it was recorded in uh, Azeri Conservatorium. Oh. Yes, we ba came ba from here. Yes, Baku. Uh -huh, in Baku. Yes, uh -huh. with Mansurov Mansur brothers. I came oh. with my band here from Tel Aviv and mm -hmm. we recorded uh, in, uh, in Baku with uh, a lot of uh, Azeri folk uh, musicians. Wow. That was amazing, amazing experience. So all this album was recorded in Azerbaijan five years ago. 
Wow, that's, now, that's really interesting. That's cool, that's cool. Now yeah. I'm releasing my second album. Um, mm -hmm. Hopefully the audience will like it. <laughs> yeah, we, we, I'm sure, yeah, the audience will like it, like, definitely. Um, all right, so the next question is, you were very close to represent Israel in your original song contest, but if you can offer to represent Azerbaijan, would you accept it? And if yes, what kind of song would you like to sing? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a beautiful question. Um, <laughs> yes, sure, sure, I <laughs> want to represent Azerbaijan in Eurovision. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but uh, um, I think it's, a, I guess it's all. Um, what song? I will definitely go with my own original material, but mixing inside Azeri Mugam. Uh huh. Um, this is very important for me. I want to come to Azerbaijan next year to learn professionally Mugam, singing professional Mugam. Uh, I feel this is magical and very powerful um, instrument to express myself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, very interesting, very interesting. So yeah, we will be like happy to hear those Mugami in Eurovision Song Contest. Actually, we, I, I think we never have it, like this kind of ethnic vibes, which can come from like Mugam part and to represent us like very beautifully and from the other aspects. And yeah, that were really great actually. And as far as I know you speak, as you say, like in like, let's say three languages, right? So English, Hebrew, and also the Azerbaijani. But you, I, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not sure, but if I'm not mistaken, you, you don't have a song in like all of these three languages, right? No, but this yeah. is a great idea. Maybe we yeah. will try something. Yeah, so like- I have- ever, like, Yeah. I have, I'm singing Sari Galin in Hebrew. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In this album, we have Sari Galin translated to Hebrew language. Wow. So um, it sounds like this. Do you want to hear it? Yeah, I would love to. Ve'ata kmo malach yadanuga Esh Ainecha Ahava Veata Kmo Malachia Danuga Esh Ainecha Ahava Altelechna Altelech Kiani Batayam Ten Liamun Mimcha, Ain Lima speak Mimcha. That was beautiful. Thank you very much. That was very, very beautiful. Thank you. So um, now I need only to know, now I need only to write it in Russian and it will be <laughs> like perfect. Yeah, yeah like. Yeah, so I, I actually love the language, like a lot of languages in one song. It sounds very like special and different and it makes it like very special from the other kind of songs, I guess. Um, yeah, you, that's are, true. Uh -huh, you are also a composer, so you are also writing a song. And as you know, currently Azerbaijan looking for a song for the Eurovision Song Contest to represent us in 2022. So have you ever thought to send uh, for selections for Azerbaijan. That would be amazing. Just <laughs> <laughs> tell me, tell me who I sent it to, and I will. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I could actually, I can send you the email, so you can you can send one of your songs. Yeah, let's yeah, do yeah. it. Yeah, that would look like really amazing if you can hear your song in the Eurovision Song Contest. But yeah, it should be released after the September, as you know. 
So it's before the September 2021, songs are not eligible for the Eurovision. But if it's released after September 2021, yeah, it is eligible for the Eurovision Song Contest. So you can submit a song. Con that would be perfect. A great idea, right? Consider it done. Consider it done. <laughs> oh, perfect. Yes, I will definitely send you the email <laughs> to send the like song to there. Perfect. Yeah, that's good. Um, do you usually like listen to Azerbaijani singers or like do you have some favorites or? You know, I would very, very like that your audience, Azeri people, will start mm -hmm. to send me what to hear because uh -huh. I'm way far of Azeri culture right now, modern culture. I, uh, I was growing in a Soviet uh, USSR, Azerbaijan, and it was very, very different music. It was very different kind of thing. And today I don't uh, really know. So I would like you to write and to say to your audience, please send me on Instagram, on, on Facebook, <laughs> what to hear. I want to know Azerbaijan music right now, modern music. Modern music, yeah. Yes, so, yeah. let's exchange information. Exactly. Um, but my favorite Azerbaijan composers and musicians are uh, Vagif Mustafa Zadeh mm -hmm. and Tofi Kuliev. This is my most favorite music, Aziza Mustafa Zadeh. And I would, I, I, I hear it even now, it gives me a lot of uh, muse to write my music too. Yeah, exactly, that's, that's right. So yeah, also guys, you, you heard it and you should comment below about the songs and recommend some, exactly. Um, yeah, but what about Eurovision? Do you have like some favorite songs from Eurovision or favorite artists from the past? Oh, that's, uh, that's, that, 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 no, no, because I never saw, I never saw Eurovision, uh, uh, Eurovision content. Uh, that was the first one that I really mm -hmm. decided to do because, uh, like I told you, I was grown enough to see yeah. that and to participate that. But before I, I never heard uh, songs from Eurovision and I would like to know. Um, did Azerbaijan ever win uh, Eurovision? Yeah. Yes. Yes. yes in 19, uh, in 1960, uh, no, no, no. Like in, in 2011. Yes, in 2012. Yeah, yeah, I heard yeah. about that. Yeah, that in 2012, crazy. it was in Baku. That was crazy opening. That That's yeah. the only one I saw. I saw yes. the opening in this... Exactly huge hole that you built in the middle of the Caspian Sea. It looked yes. like a diamond. Yeah, a crystal hole. Wow, wow, that was amazing. Yeah, it was a great opening ceremony and they did like a fireworks in the Caspian Sea, like in the wow. ceremony. Yeah, it, was, it was amazing. Yeah, that's the only one I saw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> obviously, yeah. That was really beautiful. So maybe this year we will bring Eurovision again to Azerbaijan. We'll see. <laughs> I will hold my fingers crossed. Yes. <laughs> you know, um, definitely Azerbaijan, it's the land of the best food best and, <laughs> and music. Yeah. This is the two things. Azerbaijan is the best in the world. Like the food and the music is cosmic it's magical mm -hmm. and everybody who hear that in my concerts all over the world i'm always telling about what i remember very late sunset and warm bread and this amazing black caviar on my track <laughs> with a black tea and mm -hmm. we were eating that sitting on our cottage uh, home um, on the Caspian Sea and um, summer house we were eating like huge churak so tasty <laughs> like breathing breathing 
and putting inside the black caviar and just eating that like, wow, that was the best thing I remember from Azerbaijan. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. And the lula the kebab, wow, the lula <laughs> kebab, oh my God, yeah. with sumak. Oof. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's true. The best food ever in Lavash. Why, why, why Lavash? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, true. Um, okay, so let's move on to, I guess that's our last question. Um, let's just ask it. So our posts of your expected performance have gone like viral in Azerbaijan and has been shared in many platforms, like social media platforms, like media representatives in just like a few days. And it was just a matter of proud for us to see the Azerbaijani to represent us abroad in that way. And actually we would like to like hear your, I don't know how to say, heartfelt words to who loves you in Azerbaijan. And we'd love to hear like, what would you like to say to them? And if you can, I would love to hear it in Azerbaijani actually, but if not, English is also possible. <laughs> so are you ready for that? Yes, I, didn't prepare, I didn't prepare that, but <laughs> that's what I want to say. Yeah, I would love to hear Men seni sevirem Azerbaijan kurban olum sene <laughs> Super perfect <laughs> Thank you very much thank you oh, very much. Yeah I hope amazing. to come and visit you soon and if someone ever that hear our interview are planning to come to Tel Aviv really really you can write me on Instagram on Facebook and I will show you Tel Aviv through my eyes. Mm -hmm. This is a very, very warm country that loves Baku and Azerbaijan. Israeli people love Azerbaijan very much, very much. And it's important. Yeah, it is important. Yeah, it's very Connect important. me. Yes, exactly. Thank you very much. Uh, I guess, yeah, we are going to the end, like little by little. So I just want to say thank you very much for, again, accepting our invitation. And it was very nice to see you at this, like, virtually online way. And hope, yeah, maybe one day we will see each other, like, in person and we will share, like, more information and more emotions, feelings with each other. And, yeah, thank you for, like, going to those uh, selection six factors so that we have a chance to know about you your music your like yeah i'm mean, style everything and that was so beautiful and uh, just one more question i just remember like comes to my mind and you release new music right like recently yes so we, uh, we listened to that and we loved it actually so thank you for that as well to like producing this song and the one question is where and how did you record the music video? So because the music video is very interesting. Wow. Yeah, it was very interesting. And a lot of elements we saw in the music video. So what the meaning of those elements and where and how did you record the music video? Um, in Israel, we have uh, the most interesting spot, uh, which is the lowest place on planet. It calls oh. the Dead Sea. Maybe you heard that. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah. So the Dead Sea is really the lowest place on all the earth and it's full with salts, um, um, medical salts. People are going to this uh, location to, um, uh, to improve their health because the salts are very, very uh, strong. There's nothing leaves in this sea because it calls the Dead Sea because mm -hmm. the amount of salt is so huge that n not a live thing can live there. And the ground, because of the salt, just claps. That's crazy. So there was um, like a um, location for uh, for resting and health uh, products and the whole thing like the office and the building and the living places they just collapse into the ground 
and it stays like this because nobody can go there. The ground collapses all the time and creates huge holes inside of the earth itself. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's amazing miracle. It's just like a miracle of Azeri oil, like mm -hmm. fontaine from the ground and it's called black gold. It's yeah. Azeri miracle, Israeli miracle. It's the salt gold. And uh, we just went there to uh, shoot the video in this amazing uh, location. It's a really, really a miracle of the nature. Mm, yeah, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it's beautiful, I guess, as you said. And we also saw in the music videos that those like very magical, I will say. I think yeah. in uh, uh, the purpose was we are living in this age of computers and everything is everything is on our computer just coming ready to us. Mm -hmm. We don't want to get out of our houses anymore. We have everything given us inside our home. And I think it's very, very important as remembering our roots to remember the earth, the ground, the soil, the nature, to go there actually, to go out of the houses, to see the places, to connect people sitting there together. You know, we were sitting there with the shooting uh, uh, crew, uh, like crazy, uh, beautiful nature outside. And we are sitting there on the edge of this hole in the ground just connecting with each other without phone, without uh, Instagram, Facebook, just connecting, speaking to each other offline, you know? This is important. We should That's remember important. our ground. We should cherish our nature. This is very important to go out of the houses and to connect. <laughs> connect <laughs> relationships. That's the most important things after all the relationships. Yeah. Agreed, exactly, yeah. Okay, so yeah, once again, I, I'm just saying like, will be video, thank you <laughs> for that. And yeah, so that was very beautiful. So I guess we just gonna end now. And I just want to say to our like viewers, our followers. So it was uh, Camila from um, Israel, Tel Aviv. And thank you very much for your- Thank you like, very much. <laughs> Yeah, we were very delighted to have you here today. So yeah, and so you can like subscribe, you can tell your like, uh, I don't know, feelings in the comments below. And yeah, so that was it. Thank you and bye, have a nice Thank day. Thank you very much. Love from Tel Aviv. Follow yeah, us, Yama Camila. <laughs> bye.